What is up, you people? My name is Tyler Lunsford, and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. Today, we are looking at a trick by Nick Popa, and I am very excited about it because it looks like something that you would see on TV. It's super exciting to talk about, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review of Hand Drawing right now. One more quick thing, I bought this effect with my own money so you're truly watching an unbiased magic trick review. First off, you need to know what actually is hand drawn. Here's what happens with hand drawn. The performer removes a permanent marker from their pocket. They draw an X or a dot or a heart on the palm of their hand. The drawing then slowly and visually crawls across the performer's palm. There is no cover and no funny moments. The performer then plucks the drawing off of their hand and transfers it to their arm or their wrist. The audience can even check to make sure that the ink is really drawn onto their wrist or their arm. It really is on the performer's skin. This incredible effect happens with no cover, no special chemicals, and no difficult sleight of hand. The hand drawn gimmick comes with three standard shapes you can do, which are dot, heart, and X. This is hand drawn by Nick Popa. What you'll be receiving if you decide to purchase Hand Drawn, you'll be receiving the gimmicks to perform the effect and a detailed tutorial video from Nick Popa himself, teaching you how to set up the gimmick, how to perform it, and some additional tips in almost 45 minutes. And now that you know what Hand Drawn is and what you'll be receiving, let's talk about some more questions you may have, such as how difficult is it to perform? Hand drawing is not too terribly difficult to do. It's gonna take a little bit of practice. I mean, obviously it does use something that is pretty typical among animation effects. So you will have to get your, you know, get it down to make sure you're using that appropriately. I just don't, I mean, you can probably tell what it is and you know what I'm talking about and that's fine if you do. I just don't wanna directly give it away. But just so you know, it will take a little bit of practice. You know, if you've done anything like this in the past, any type of animation work, you know what I'm talking about. How are the angles for hand drawn? You need to keep your audience in front of you when performing hand drawn. What's the setup like for hand drawn? You know, is there any DIY or anything you have to do? There is some DIY that you have to do. Now with animation style effects, you do have to set them up ahead of time with this material that you probably know what I'm talking about already. And it's not that difficult to do, but it is something that you will have to set up ahead of time. It's just a one-time setup if you want to do it with like a specific shape. If you're trying to do it with a heart or then you want to move it to the dot and then you want to move it to the X it's gonna take separate setup times each time you do that you can't just like easily change that out really I mean it's not that difficult to do but it will just take a little bit of time and when I say a little bit of time I just mean like 10 minutes it's not gonna take that long and you can probably get it down faster than that once you've done it a couple times but it's not difficult to do. Is hand drawn examinable? No, the Sharpie that you're using is not examinable. It doesn't write either. Also, the X on your hand isn't examinable, but by the end of it, the X on your hand is. So like once you make it appear on your wrist or jump to your arm or whatever, that's examinable. They can check that out. It really is on your skin. But before that, it's not examinable. So the important part is by the end, it is examinable. If you wanna have your spectators fill your arm or rub it or whatever, the ink really is on there. Are there any negatives when it comes to hand drawn? Yes, there are some things you should be aware of. One is that the Sharpie is not examinable to begin with. Two, you will have to do a little bit of setup that I mentioned earlier. Now, like I said, that's not really that hard to do. It will just take just a little bit of time and Nick walks you through how to do that on the tutorial video. So I wouldn't let it scare you. I just want you to be aware of it. And three, you can't really be surrounded when you're performing this. So you wanna keep your audience in front of you for best results. The last thing I'll mention for the negatives is that I wish it would have come pre-assembled. It's not that it's that hard to do, it's just time consuming, and I, I honestly would have paid a little bit more money to have it come pre-assembled for me. I kind of feel like they were trying to cut corners a little bit, or at least keep their margins down by you know, not having their gimmick builders spend as much time on this, which I understand, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, I just really wish that it's not that difficult to do and it really doesn't take a ton of time. It's like, why not do it? charge an extra five or ten bucks I don't know personally I just wish it would have come as the X and then on the tutorial video they say hey it comes as an X but if you want to do it as a dot or a heart this is how you change it and then they go into that would have made me a lot more happy as a customer but then again I don't want to subtract from the effect because I do like the effect and I think it's really cool but I just wish that would have been part of it what are the positives about hand drawn well this is a really cool TV style effect it looks really visual it's gonna freak your spectators out and if you can get this thing down which like I said it's not that difficult to do it just takes a little bit of practice it's gonna look really good and it's gonna land a hard hit on your spectators what's this retail as well currently it's gonna set you back about forty dollars and is that a fair price as I just mentioned earlier I wish it was a little bit more expensive and came pre-assembled but since it doesn't come pre-assembled I think it should be more like 
30 or maybe $35, but it, I would have paid 45 or 50 bucks if it came pre-assembled. I don't know. That's just me personally. I don't know how you feel about it. Comment down below. Let me know if you would have paid a little bit more money to have something pre-assembled like this for you, and let me know how much money extra you would have paid, because I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Once again, I bought this effect with my own money, so you just watched a truly unbiased magic trick review, and I hope that you got something from this video. If you would like to purchase hand-drawn for yourself, the link to do it is in the description down below. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another video that I post on the channel sometime soon. And remember, be nice to people. See ya. But the girls call him Nick Papa.